G'day viewers, uh, Jeff from McPhee's Gardening again. Sorry I've been a little bit slack and not providing a video for quite a while, but uh, been a bit busy and with all this COVID and carrying on down here, um, um, we'll get there. But anyway, today's subject, I want to look at uh, three types of gardening businesses that uh, I've done and I know a lot of other guys and my colleagues um, that perform. And that is, it can be broken down into three areas. One is the guy that just mows lawns. Nothing else, just mows lawns. Then you have the girls and guys that just do gardens, only gardens, makeups, uh, one-offs, etc. And then you've got the lawns and gardens, the whole turnkey. So the uh, client receives both lawn mowing and gardening. So the first one is uh, lawn mowing. Now, I know a lot, and I have done in the past, a lot of guys can get up to 120, 140, 150 lawns uh, customers. So you, that's something like you know, 12, 14 lawns a day, five days a week, very good income, especially if the round is tight. That means, I remember in the days when I just did lawns only, I'd have five and six in a street. I had two blocks of 40 houses within uh, the doorstep of my uh, premises. Um, but that was back in the olden days and work was plentiful and there uh, wasn't as much competition back then. So it was a really, it was really nice. But a lot of guys do the full time only, keep the round tight, your hourly rate can be astronomical. You know, if you're getting 60 bucks, you might squeeze in two lawns an hour. You might even squeeze two and a half, three. It depends on how big the lawns are and if they side by side, Imagine you come up to a street, you do all the edges of three or four houses at once, then you mow all the um, houses at once, and then you just go in and blow and tidy up the whole three or five or how many you've got in that street, especially if they're all together. It's amazing how much time. And of course, there's the guys who've got other people helping them out. Well, once you get a sequence going, you really can punch out some big numbers, you know, a lot more than 140 lawns a fortnight, that's for sure. Now, the disadvantages, of course, is, is it requires a lot of scheduling. You've got you know, you could have 100 plus customers you've got to deal with. So that's 100 plus customers that are going to have a query that, that you're going to have to ring because they've got to open up the gate for you. You might be a day late. Um, some customers might expect you in the morning and you can't get there till the afternoon. So there's a lot of manoeuvring around of customers. Um, it requires a lot of time management of scheduling. Get it right and it's good, but you really got to be aware uh, when your books are full, time is of essence to you. You really need to have a system and once you hit the ground running, everything falls into place. Now, of course, when you have that many customers and you're only doing lawns, if it rains, what happens? The next day, you've got to remove and move them onto the next day and those customers from that day are going to go from the following day, unless you want to put in a really long day. And if it's in the winter time um, with less uh, light hours, well, that might not be possible. So then for all you're pushing into the weekend. So you've got to be aware of how much time you've got in the day to do the lawns. I know some guys will go from you know, dawn till dusk and uh, good luck to them. I, I don't know how they do it, but I certainly, uh, I certainly couldn't do it and I've never done it because if you book yourself out that far, you're going to find yourself in trouble. Also requires a lot of maintenance of equipment. You've got to keep your equipment up to scratch. You've got to turn over a lot more equipment if you've got fully lawns only. So there's a fair bit of management in that area. But the bottom line is very, very profitable. Now the second one is the gardening only. So no lawns, just gardening. Now what, what that means is you'll quote on a clean up, a garden rejuvenation, a mulch, there may be some little mowing because you might want to do a, you know, clean up the whole property with mowing and then you weed the gardens and mulch or whatever. But we treat it like a landscape job. It's a one-off, very profitable. You go in and quote the job, you then put your profit margin on it and it can become extremely, extremely profitable. So what the advantages are is that you can control your time. You can dictate, I'll spend Monday, Tuesday doing this one particular job. If I finish a bit earlier, I might take that Tuesday, uh, Wednesday job and put it, you know, in that afternoon that, that you finished early. Or you might decide to take a few weeks off or a month off. You haven't got that pressure of the regular customers requiring their services, unless you've got someone else to take over while you're going away. But the one-off's very good. The disadvantage is you've got to have a great marketing scheme. You must, you know, to get, you've got to keep the work up all the time. 
It's a bit like when you employ somebody, you're all the time quoting, making sure you've got enough work to keep that guy going, plus yourself and your other workers. And it's the same with the one-off jobs. You've got to keep them enough in front of you. Like you'd like to keep them a couple of months in front. Uh, customers won't wait too long. I mean, if you go and do a quote, they're not going to wait for six months, they'll get someone else. But if you can just sort of manage it in a monthly or six weekly uh, advance, you'll do quite well. And of course, the third one is the one I prefer, is the mixture of the gardening and the lawns. Now, I've quoted on a lot of gardening jobs and then someone else is mowing the lawns. And the customer says, well, they don't want to deal with two gardeners. They'll say, Jeff, do you do lawns as well? I say, I certainly do. So I end up getting the whole job, the turnkey. So now the, the mowing only guy, he said, I don't do any weeding. I don't do any mulching. I don't do gardening. I just mow lawns. And that's fine. Very good. But he's going to lose out on a few. So that's why I like the turnkey of the whole. I don't want any other gardener in my area. I just want to, that, that property will be mine to look after from the lawns to the edges to the maintaining of the gardens, pruning, mulching, hedging, etc. And I like to split that between the commercial and residential, so I've got a complete spread. It also drought proofs you because in, in dry weather, when the grass is not growing as much or in winter time, you've then got jobs of um, um, gardening from your existing customers and you can also put in place uh, taking on additional work to increase uh, your income um, from, from the uh, one-off jobs. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a basic look at the three, three options of how, how to run a business. Um, now, when you first start off, you're going to do everything. You're going to go and mow lawns, you're going to do one-off jobs, you're going to mow grass as high as your head. You're going to do a lot just to, just to get in there, just to get, get out and about. But you'll soon learn. You'll soon learn the good customers, the bad customers. You'll soon learn the profitable ways of, of making uh, money out of your time. I've mentioned in previous in videos, this, this occupation, it's, it's a business. So when, you, when you're working out your time, make sure you're getting that hourly rate as high as you can get it. And that, that doesn't matter whether you're mowing lawns or whether you're weeding or mulching or whatever. You've got to be, your business has got to be rewarded for what it's worth. All right, thanks for that. A few comments I'd appreciate. A few more subscribers would be lovely. But um, please give us some feedback, good or bad. I've got thick skin. You know, everyone does it differently. Um, like to hear all points of view. Going to make a couple of more videos coming up soon is uh, maintenance of equipment, uh, especially for the new guys. Uh, rather than take your mowers to the shop and spending a fortune, there's a lot of things you can do with your equipment to um, keep yourself going. And might even do one of my, a typical day of how I start, the checklist uh, when I go out, um, how I approach each job, when I get home, the checklist when I get home, um, close the door and, and move on. So, you know, bit of bit of uh, info for the newbies, um, um, even the oldies, I guess. I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of videos of newbies uh, uh, and I, I think, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, I love all the videos everybody's going and uh, my mate up there in uh, North England, Max, uh, Rob from Maxwell's Gardening Services, um, I really love his, he's, uh, he's done very well, I cannot believe the amount of subscribers he's got, he's just blowing everyone out of the water but he comes up with some sensible stuff and it's what he does, he, he, he just comes up with a um, way how he sees it and I like to do the same, that's the way I see it, um, everybody's different but if we can pick out little bits and pieces from each uh, video sounds great all right guys we'll see you uh, on the next video and and thanks for watching really appreciate and and subscribe please i need some more subscriptions i like to get the word around and get the feedback thanks guys bye